Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I do apologise for yesterday. I oh, know I was miss I was missing in action. Actually I was missing in action in the kitchen. I was gifted a huge pile of shrimp and so I kind of spent Sunday evening canning and uh Coming around to Monday, I was absolutely exhausted because I actually completed 70 half pint jars. Yeah, you tried doing that. I went all through the night doing it. So that's why I was exhausted. And that is why I was not here on Monday. But it's Tuesday and here I am. So it's a Panelisa project share and I am going to be up tomorrow with a Let's Make This from Panelisa. But I kind of, I did it like this because it was a little bit quicker. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm still tired. Yeah. Right, so today I have used the cup die, which as you can see is double. It opens and closes. It comes with a lemon slice and it comes with a little tea bag and it also comes with a heart. Now you get all the bits to do the shadows, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And you also get a piece to do a saucer. Now, I don't know if I measured this or not, but I think one of the things people would be thinking about is putting a gift card in it. Now, it's three and an eighth, the height of that. I mean, the width would definitely take um, a gift card. If I do like the cup section, it's three and an eighth again. But whether a gift card would actually, you know, fit height wise, I don't actually have anything on me. But if you just remember three and an eighth by three and an eighth to the inside of the handle, um, that is the kind of space that you've got there. I personally think it would make um, a really nice little gift tag and then you could use a little bit of hot glue and, you know, stick a peppermint tea bag there, you know, a packaged one, not, not one that's opened, but you could just pop one on the inside as a little, you know, tag on a bag or something. Right, so I've done that one. I've also done the Halloween cat. This is seriously cute. And I'll turn it around so you can see Panelisa's name. And that comes with a tiny little candy corn, the word spooky, and it also comes with a broom. And I'm actually in love with the word spooky because it's just done so nicely. And then I cut the charcuterie board. Yes, I was able to say it. And um, I did the larger one. I didn't do the smaller one. But the small ones, as you can see, are really sweet. And they're just going to make really nice tags. Love those. But this one, pop an easel on the back. And uh, you've got a full-size card. Or well, once again, because it's got the hole, you've got yourself a tag. It does layer inside of the scallop so that you can also turn it into a shaker. Right, that's an important thing to know. And also on this one, the cat's head can be a shaker because you get two different sizes. You get a big head and you get a slightly smaller head. And when you lay them inside of each other, you're cutting a frame. So you can make a shaker with a cat's head if you wanted to. Right, so here's what I made. First up, my little kitty cat. So I've got a little bit of twine up there from my stash. And there's that word, spooky. If I can get in close enough. It's just a really lovely font. And it does um, cut out separately, but just really easy to do. And then I just cut a little rectangle of paper. And I use my hole punch either side to um, make little notches to get a ticket. So you only kind of like put it halfway on. And uh, you get to notch it out like a little ticket. So I did both edges for the spooky. And then if you look at the kitty cat's face there, which is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, that is done with a peachy keen rodent face stamp. So that is that. Really, really sweet little face. There is the candy corn. And then the background is one of the sheets of paper from the Halloween pack, which I'm just going to grab. I'm just hanging that around in the camera while I stretch across the table. Yeah, I'll just pop that down for a second. I did actually show you this last week, but it's awesome paper. It's really vibrant. And somebody wanted to see it outside of the pack. 
So if I get close up there, you can see just how bright and vivid it is. And I love that argyle. And that, there's a kitty cat saying boo. Um, but I did show it last week. It's just awesome. That's a lovely khaki and black. Great for um, a little boy's card. And then you've got them going off there. But I also love this one. There you go. Cobweb. Black cobweb. Also say white cobweb on black. But there's all kinds of different pieces in here. I mean, you've got the hilarious little ghosties and things. And I'll probably use that one tomorrow and do that little skeleton head because she's really sweet. And then, of course, you've got the more traditional ghost. But um, as I said, there's somebody who asked to see um, just how vibrant the colours were. So I'm going to be doing Halloween again tomorrow and also Christmas. So, you know, we may as well go for the seasons for a little while. So I did use that pack. And then next up was the cup. And I just did it real simple. And it's a little lemon cup of lemon tea. And I even cut the heart in lemon cardstock. But you see what I mean? You've got this layering up piece that is a shadow. But we are going to do this cup again tomorrow. And I'm going to make it so that you can see it being done. And uh, we'll do it as a Christmas cup. And also, I think I've got um, a big heart-shaped chocolate drippy waffle from Panalisa. And that might, you know, look nice just on the side of the cup. But you've got that cute, cute little tea bag and that lovely slice of lemon. Really easy to do. And on this one, I only stuck the um, the saucer on the inside. But obviously, I'm supposed to stick it on the outside too, so that your saucer's on both sides. But I'll do it properly tomorrow. <laughs> These two little bits of ephemera are from um, oh the Creative Path Holiday Inn pack. So it's kind of limey limey lemony that color with gold foil and i just thought it would look pretty on there so that is basically what i've got for you today and as i said you know i was busy canning and i do apologize but uh you know i was exhausted i mean seriously i was i mean i was cooking i was boiling i was cutting i was peeling and uh then 45 minutes each batch in the canner anybody that cans out there knows what it's like i mean i absolutely love canning but the preparation and what have you can be quite time consuming. But at least once you've done it, you haven't got to, you know, you haven't got to heat the stove up in the kitchen when you're in Florida when it's 90 or 100 outside, which is an absolute nightmare. And uh, to be honest, I'm not somebody who likes to eat barbecue type food all the time. So I think that's probably my cultural roots coming through there. But um, I'm usually somebody that just throws it all in a bag with some seasoning and marinades it, you know, and then just throws it all in the pot. <laughs> so anyway, that's enough of digressing about my cooking habits. Here's my little crafty habits. And I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.